Look, if you want to become the man that other guys want to become and that women want to be with, then you have to start doing these seven things right now. The first thing that you have to get straight away is you need to adopt a growth mindset. What I mean is don't be static, don't be complacent. Most guys think that they are just the way they are and they can't change in any way. For example, you might think that you're not good at something and you can't do anything about it. But the truth is you can become good at literally anything if you just practice, if you put a ton of time into it. Think of yourself as a video game character. You guys know that I come from a video game uh, background here on YouTube. Some of these things are predetermined, like your height and whatnot, but there are so many things that you can change and improve upon, so never forget that. The next thing is something that a lot of guys unfortunately tend to do, and that is bringing other people down instead of building them up. And look, it really says a lot about you if you're doing that. If you have a habit of, let's say, talking down on your friend's achievements with something that you did that maybe was better, bigger, or more important. It doesn't really matter if you think that you're better than that guy. If he comes to you with a win, you should celebrate it with him, not put him down. You actually come off as insecure and jealous when you do that, so always bring your friends up with you. It's like the saying, a rising tide lifts all boats. Something else that every high value guy does is take care of himself. Right, that means having a good sense of style, being well groomed, being healthy, having a skincare routine, you get the drill, especially if you're a subscriber here of the channel. And obviously you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on clothes or grooming products to look your best, but you have to put at least some effort into your appearance. You can start by getting a gym membership or even a simple body weight routine at home would do, but you have to put time into it. Get a skincare routine, start taking care of your body, Simply start and everything will fall into place eventually. And to help you achieve those goals, you should do what I do. I wear a whoop. You guys have seen me wear this here for over two years now and Whoop was kind enough to sponsor today's video. If you don't know what it is, it's a fitness tracker that tells you everything you need to know about your sleep, your recovery, your daily strain. Every day when I wake up, Whoop tells me exactly how many hours I got of light sleep, deep sleep, REM, how many times I woke up, which means that now I know. If I wake up and I feel tired, I look at my Whoop and I see exactly why I'm tired. Maybe I didn't sleep enough, Maybe I woke up way too many times. You can see here that I actually woke up 14 times last night. So maybe I need to adjust the temperature in my room at nighttime or wear a sleeping mask if the light is bothering me, right? Maybe I'm just too stressed out and I need to take it easy so that I can sleep better. It's funny because we're always using data to make things better. Right, you look at data for marketing, you look at a lot, of, a lot of data for business and work in general, but people tend to forget we should look at data for our bodies as well. Because Honestly, it's like having a personal trainer telling me, hey Alex, you had a rough day, go to sleep a little early so that you can perform at a high level tomorrow. Or maybe Alex, you should burn more calories because you kind of been taking it easy today, so get to work out now. That's why I've been wearing this thing every single day for 804 days. It literally says it right here, 804 days straight. So I'm not joking when I say that this really changed my life in the way that I behave. It changed my morning routine, it changed the amount of alcohol that I'm consuming, it just changed everything for me. And having that data is actually very beneficial. And the best thing is if you use the link below, the Whoop itself is free, 100% free. And until November 28th, they have their biggest promo happening, 20% off 12 and 24 month memberships, along with apparel and accessories, like these beautiful Whoop shorts that I wear all the time, and even underwear that lets you put your Whoop here to track your stats without you having to wear a band. So go check them out, I'm gonna leave a link to the sale in the description below and you can join my team so that we can compare stats as well. We have over 675 people on my Whoop team, so I'll make sure to leave that link below as well. The next thing that you should do is know your value without being arrogant. There's a fine line, you know, of course, it's great to be confident. We all want to, we all want to be confident. We all want to be sure of ourselves. But let the things that you do speak for themselves. And that's very important. Let's say you've built a successful business. You know, you don't need to go around and tell literally everyone that you have a successful business. You don't need to boast about it. You simply let that achievement speak for itself. That's how you build actual high self-esteem. Remember that arrogance is loud but confidence can and sometimes should be silent. Up next, we have being emotionally intelligent, and that comes in a couple of forms, right? Mainly, it's about having good social skills, being able to read the room, knowing when it's a good time and a bad time to say certain things. It's the ability to understand and manage your own emotions in positive ways, to communicate effectively, to empathize with others, to overcome challenges. The bottom line is, it's good to keep in mind that your words have impact in knowing the right time to say certain things versus hold some things back. Next, if you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, then you need to take a step back and really think about this next tip, 
right? You need to have purpose. Here's the thing, as man, you know, we have really high goals to strive for, right? Otherwise, what's the point? If you don't have goals, we're just wasting time here on this rock, on this floating rock. I don't know about you, but whenever I hit a goal that I set for myself, like maybe hitting a certain number of subscribers here on YouTube or followers on Instagram or a monetary goal, I am happy for a little bit, I celebrate, right? Amazing. And then I'm like, all right, what's, what's next? What's my next goal? That's because there's always a higher mountain to climb no matter where you are in life. So whatever goal you have right now, think bigger because trust me, you're gonna want more after you get there. It's not just about the goals, you definitely have to celebrate your journey as well. But the goals are important. You have to have that purpose, otherwise you're just blowing with the wind, going in any way, in any direction that that wind is blowing you towards. And the next thing that I wanna share with you guys is something that might be a hard pill to swallow, but I think you guys will understand. You have to drop people that don't bring value to your life. And yeah, I know this sounds a bit harsh, but you probably already have someone in mind when I say that. And if you do, then it's a bad sign. For example, let's say you're working towards something, right? You have a goal, you're excited about it, and then a friend keeps saying that you're wasting your time, that you should go out for drinks and clubbing with him instead. And yeah, that sounds fun, but man, that's not the way to do it. But if he's saying, oh my God, you're always busy, come hang out with us, that's not a good friend. He needs to support you in whatever you do. Remember that you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with, so ask yourself, is this guy bringing value to your life or is he actually bringing you down? Don't forget to check out Whoop's Black Friday sale. It's the first link below, and if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Peace.